Okay, let's begin. So today we're looking at logarithmic function manipulation, and our goal is to be able to rewrite logarithmic functions used in equivalent forms. So one of our goals today is to construct logical proofs um, of the product and power rules using a definition of the logarithm and the properties of exponents. So let's start with that one. We have reviewed now with the warm-up exercise the properties of logarithms. And we've got three basic laws. We have the product property, which says that a logarithm in base b of x times y is the logarithm of b of x plus the logarithm b of y. We have the quotient property and the power property. Let's have a go now at proving the product property. So what we can do for this one is we can say that b to the power of log b of x, y, we'll start off here. Can I simplify that? Can I simplify that? Yeah. How? Uh, you could do with the power of no. How can I simplify this? This is a really important simplification. You have to know this one. Um, can you say this again? That's a B before the logarithm. That's a B okay, in the base? You can put the B as an exponent. No, you can't. There's a lot of log base B, yeah. Let's not use any of the logarithm properties. Can you this is, this is really important, this one. You're not caught the understanding from the inverse uh, of the inverse function lesson we did last week. No, it's not. So we have two functions here. We have f of x is equal to b to the x, and we have g of x is equal to log base b of x. These two functions are inverses. So if those two functions are inverses of each other, how does this expression simplify? No. This and this cancel each other, and you're left with x, y. This and this cancel each other. I'm not going to... We're just taking the expression b to the power of uh, log base b of x, y. Sorry? I thought we could plug a function into its inverse, the answer is x. Yes, and x in this case is x, y. We have to do a substitution, don't you? The, the x is the x, y. Okay, so we can then use that same um, inverse to applying to both x and y. So x on its own is log base b of x. Y on its own is B log base B of Y. Sorry, let me not have the brackets. So using the laws of indices, we get B log base B of X plus log base B of Y. So this therefore implies that log b of x, y must equal log b of x plus log b of y.
Let's focus for a minute. Let me just do a quick zoom in here. We do a quick zoom in. Let's focus a minute on something you were struggling with. If we have 3 to the log 3 of x, what is this equal to? What happens if we have log 3 of 3 to the x plus 1? And then we have 3 times 7 log base 7 of x. So, 3x. Okay? Make sure you spot the inverse properties uh, for these functions here. These are inverses of each other. These are in inverse functions used for undoing. Oh, sorry, I'm missing a plus one. All right, let's go on. So for each of the following, write an equivalent expression by condensing each logarithm into a single logarithm. So can somebody help? Well, we can run through these fairly quickly because you should be well warmed up now. Can somebody help me with this first one? What's this one going to be? You said... Log 4xy. Log and the second one, let me have, uh, oh, just Log 3, 5 over, ooh, 5 over z. How about this one? Let, let me just go through this one a little bit. Um, I, you want to take them in order of precedence of operations when they get a bit longer. So that means we do the first two, and we get log base 10 of x over 5 minus log base 10 of z. So then we're going to get log base 10 of x over 5 all over z. And then we could rewrite that into log base 10 of x over 5z. Uh, yeah, you want simplest possible form. I think that's the simplest possible form. Let's try three. Who could help me here for this one? Zinedine. Let's do it in two step. Which step do we do first, Zinedine? First, we have to simplify the left term so we'll get... Why? Because order of operations, exponents come first, and that's going to move to the exponent. So we get the log base 2 x cubed minus log base 2 of y. And then we can do log base 2 x cubed over y. Yeah. All right, I think we'll skip on that one. Oh, let me just do this last one. Let me just do this last one. How do we do this one? Yeah, you zoom. Yeah. So, two equals log six, over six. So, so, two is equal to log base two of, six, of, six, of six squared. So, it is log six, I'll just add in the six squared so you see where it's coming from. Um, and then we're going to get 36x. Okay, great. All right, have a go at this one. Discuss with your partners. Okay, so let's have a look. So with these type of questions, you can either start with this expression here and simplify it, and, and break it apart, or you can start with the uh, answers, and then but it's going to be quicker to start over there if we if we can manage it. So let's take this one. We've got x squared over y. <laughs> Sorry, let, let me just do it. Oh, so we're going to have x squared minus log base three of y, which means we're going to have two log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of y. Then I'm going to look up and see. If, do I have anything that looks like this one? C. C. Thank you. C is the correct answer. 
Don't just look at the answers and try and guess them. Um, it's better just to work it out on paper uh, a little bit and then compare your answers. Number three. So the function f of x is equal to log 6x is a horizontal dilation of g of x. Show that f can be rewritten as a vertical translation of g in the form f of x equals g. Have a go with this one. Let's have a look. All right, it's, it's fairly straightforward. So we're just getting used to writing equivalent forms. Um, one of our goals for today. So we've got log, and we want it this way around, log of x plus log of 6, where obviously k is log of 6. Log of 6 is a number. We can write... This, this is a more accurate version of a number than a decimal expansion would be. Decimal expansion of this is going to only be accurate to however many decimal places we give. This is the only way of expressing this number. So we see this as a number. So this is one of our goals for today. Um, we need to be able to rewrite um, logarithmic functions in equivalent forms. This is one of our goals today. All right, change of base formula, a favorite. Have a go at using the formula to have a go at this question. Have a look. So what have we got? We've got Zinedine. Are we finished? We've got f of x is equal to log base 4 of x, and g of x is log base 9 of x. Show that f is a vertical dilation of g. All right, so let's rearrange this. That means we need to rearrange it in, we need to take f, start here, f of x equals log base 4 of x. Now, if we look at the question, it says that g is in base 9, so we need to do a change of base. This is going to be log base 9 of x over log base 9 of 4. So this is 1 over log base 9 of 4 times log base 9 of x, which is 1 over log base 9 of 4, or multiplied by g of x, which means that it is a vertical dilation. Last question, multiple choice. Which of the following expressions is equivalent? A little. No, mostly our proofs this year are to help us just in our general math skills, and they won't be on the FRQs. No, they're not on the exam, um, but as a goal for improving our math skills, I throw them in a little bit now and again. We do get these show that type questions. And it's usually the equivalent forms. So the last question, the fourth FRQ, will usually have this type of thing. N not proofs like we did at the beginning of the lesson, but proofs like the show that these are equivalent forms. All right, let's have a look. What's our answer going to be here? Let's take, let me, let, let me do it methodically. We've got 3 ln x minus 4 ln y which is ln x cubed minus ln y to the fourth, which is ln x cubed over y to the fourth. So that would be A. All right, exam style question. Have a go at this one. I'll give you a couple of minutes, three minutes for this one. Uh, oh, wrong, sorry, I'm going the wrong place. Oh, 
Let's have a look at our last one. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated. Um, we, so we've got two functions. We've got g. Ooh, we've got g of x is equal to log base seven of x, and h of x is equal to log base forty nine of x. There's a few ways we can do this. We can work through this problem. Probably our best way is to use the change of base formula, isn't it? Our best way is to use the change of base formula. I did it earlier, a more complicated way, but I just thought, no, no, I'm going to change of base this one. So if we want to write this one in base 7, oh, which one is the transformation of which? So f is g, h is this. Which of the following best describes the relationship between the two? All right, so it doesn't matter which way around. Zinedine. This gives us log base 7 of 49, which is 1 over... What is log base 7 of 49? This is a half times log base 7 of x. So does any of the... So it's a. That's a. The input values, the output values are half. Okay, that is it for us for today. Have a go with the homework worksheet.